Hey guys, uh, True Knight here. So, <clears throat> uh, we were given an announcement, uh, per Konami, that the OCG will be announcing a ban list for the OCG on, uh, June 23rd, um, 9 p.m. JST time. And it'll go into effect July 1st. Um, what is that usually an indicator of? Uh, just based off of like recent history, I've been, from what I've been told from the community, because I, I don't really buy into anything like track related with Konami, because there is no track record. Like they're a very unstable company. Um, but people seem to believe that we usually get our lists like two to three weeks after them. Um, which I like again, take with a grain of salt. Um, but I did want to talk about what we could possibly see because I feel like this is going to be their list to really try and shape worlds. Um, I know there is a world ban list and everything like that, but they want to gear players up for that, right? So I think this is kind of their way of going about that. So, uh, as you can see here, the overview on this thread. Uh, Konami have announced that the next Forbidden Limited List update for the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG, RCG, sorry, will take place on June 23rd, 9 p.m. GST. The new list will go into effect on July 1st, 2024, as usual, and be released from the official Yu-Gi-Oh! JP website as soon as the countdown above ends. So, yada yada yada, that's great. Uh, in 5 days, 6 hours, 27 minutes, they're going to get themselves a list. So, congrats to you guys. It's cool that you guys get communication over there. Um, wouldn't know what it feels like. <laughs> uh, we just kind of get shit thrown at us. So, good for you guys. Um, now, <clears throat> what does that make me want to look at as far as, like, a ban list coming up? Now, I know there is different formats here you can see um, so for the world's format shaping up what we have here as you can see I just googled um, Yu-Gi-Oh! OCG endless and I was able to find this website that shows what's on here um, I'm not too familiar as a player what this entirely means I don't know if that just means that once you get to worlds this is the list you go off of um, I would assume that's what it means, but again, I don't really get much communication. I don't have to worry about that because I'm the locals player, but I just wanted to give some insight of what we could see, right? So, I'm going to resort back to what's currently in the OCG bin list and what it could possibly mean, if anything, for TCG. Um, and I want to finish out with what... I think could happen for a world championship prediction um, again <laughs> because a lot of you guys are emotional people and I get it like people are very emotional about this game right now because it's feeling rather stagnant and stale and just kind of dried out um, <laughs> I, don't, I can't believe I just say this I am not an expert so this is just purely what I think and what's going on in my mind and I got the balls to share on social media um, folks who want to stay quiet behind a keyboard and everything it's great to have an opinion um, opinions are welcomed but if you're gonna come in and just kinda say your predictions are stupid ha 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 like um, you're not going to be taken serious and you'll be removed because I did a prediction list like seven days ago and half the comments were just like you're an idiot for predicting that well this is just my thought and if any of it comes to fruition and it actually does happen like, that's just shame on you for being an idiot yourself which it's kind of a whole different conversation um, even the Facebook right now, the, the Zodiac Facebook or whatever group, like, holy cow. I don't know if a lot of people who watched my video, I have like almost 3,000 views on it, 
and I don't know if they just came straight from that Facebook group to my YouTube channel. Like, I'm just a little YouTube channel, <laughs> you know, like, but, um, this is just going to be what my thoughts are. And I'm not at all sitting here saying this is the end all be all. This is the most matter of fact thing to go by. This is it. This is it. This is just what I think. And if you don't care for that, cool. Don't waste your time. Appreciate you hanging around. See you later. But, um, if you want to take time and listen and everything and you want to give like your thoughts and opinions, that's great. But if you want to just come in and be a troll, I'm going to treat you like a troll because your parents didn't treat you any better and do anything beneficial in your life. So I'll do it for you. So, um, just know that like, I, I'm not here for having to remove comment after comment because you're just having a bad day or I don't know, something's wrong with you, but like mentally please get it together <laughs> it's 2024 be a human don't be a monster just be a human <laughs> you know anyway <clears throat> so my thoughts of all this are kind of all over the place okay um i want to start with ocg and what we could see there happening um and i want to preference this with a i'm a creature of chaos <laughs> I want to see chaos I don't want to see the same old same old stagnant because if you guys have noticed anything the past what I don't know I didn't really pay attention before tier limit but for me the past two years has been tier zero wide open fun format tier zero so tier limit wide open fun snake eye is kind of like the most recent in my memory. Um, when I came back into the game, Tear had just came out. Sword Soul was still a dominant deck. I spent a pretty penny on it, and I think that was right after Sword Soul won NAW. Yeah, Nationals. I can't remember the guy's name, but he won the national tournament with Sword Soul. It was like that next week is when I was like, all right, I want to go to locals and play. And I ran into tier limit. It was my first match ever back after like seven years and I got romp stomped. But <clears throat> that's what I remember mostly. So just a headspace of where I'm at. I'm the kind of person that wants to see a 30 deck format. I hate seeing like you got three or four tier one decks uh, or tier zero, tier one, like four tier one, four tier twos, and the rest are just ass. I don't want to see that. I like to see formats where it's like, nah, there are ten decks duking it out for number one, and there's ten decks duking it out in tier two, and there's like twenty decks duking it out in rogue. That's what I want to see. Because those are fun. Those are fun. It's hard to prepare for all of those. Whereas now, you go into a tournament and you're just like, I know I'm going to see Snake Eyes Ash. It, I, like, the thought of that card makes me literally, like, want to puke. And I, I don't say that, I don't say that as a way of, like, I'm just harping on whatever else is saying. No, like, literally, when I heard that UK Nats was this past weekend, I was just, the thought of watching it made me, like, upset. Because I knew what I was going to be seeing. And far from them did a great job trying to get different decks. They they tried their damnedest to just put different decks on every round. And bravo to you guys, because from what I heard, like I watched Farfa's stream this morning while I was working, and he even said like we we tried our damnedest just to get different stuff on stream because if you looked at the last YCS and Indy, <laughs> how many of them was like oh guys we got a brand new cool deck this one includes two cash tier cards well this snake eyes has cross out in the main <laughs> like that's what they were saying their nuance was that that fucking sucks that's stupid i don't I'm not here for that so when farfa talked about how they try to get like melodious they try to get different card decks try to get plant they try to get rika they try to get anything they could just to be like we're not hosting snake eyes until we have to and they I, I heard him even play a clip that he said like you could see him on stream i guess 
when they had to put a snake eyes on and he was like oh well all right you know so you could see it's visible and those are the people commenting on the game those are what we call the dick riders they're the ones even seen they're going oh gosh here we go again here's another snake eyes like so the entire community i feel like at this point is just like even the people that love the deck you have to kind of be sitting there going okay this is kind of absurd like something's gotta change you know so again this all comes back to i am a creature of let's invoke chaos i love bringing chaos to the table so i'm not going to come to you with a here are the numbers and this is what should be banned here are the numbers of what should be limited here is how we are going to destroy snake eye i don't think you have to touch snake eye if you do a couple of things with the tcg list <laughs> and that's just me being real like <laughs> and i know that sounds crazy because i don't want to see snake eyes ash as long as i live I, I would be perfectly fine in my life if I never saw that card again. I would be totally happy just to forget it existed. But there are probably two or three cards that could come back that would make everybody and their mama go, eh, what the hell is a snake eye? <laughs> so I just want you guys to think about that. Um, sorry, I'm cracking myself up because it's, it's been a while. I just got home from the gym and I was thinking about this at the gym while I was working on preparing this video and. Um, it's funny because I'm going to get dogged on a lot and I'm going to get a lot of criticism just like my last prediction list because I didn't fulfill your needs you're going to come at me and say that I'm an idiot but I'm not here to fulfill what little Timmy what you want on the band list I'm here to tell you what I want to see because this is my channel and this is my space to do that so I don't care <laughs> If I'm not banning the card you won't ban, I'm just going to tell you what I think would be cool. And if you're not on board for it, you don't have to be on board for it. If you want to go see ban list predictions based off of numbers and hardcore facts, it, who is it? I, couldn't, I can't remember his name, but he does it by the numbers, by what you guys all vote and want to see. So he'll show you that list. I'm here just to be a random dude on YouTube that's like, hey, this is what I want to see. I don't know if you think it would be fun or not, but if you want to come in and just say your your ban list is dog shit because you're 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 making me mad because you have to hit branded cards. I'm, I'm sorry, little Jimmy. I'm, I'm sorry to ruffle your feathers that they were gonna hit your deck. I play Sword Soul. It's a tier rogue deck, and they hit my most powerful card in the deck. Why the fuck haven't they touched your tier 1 branded deck? Your deck actually won a YCS. Mine didn't do shit. <laughs> so, I have every right to say, let's hit the deck that won. Not the deck that's topping a locals. Like, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys that. But, to bring it all back around. Bring it back in. Um... Let's talk about uh, what we could see on the OCG list. And I'm going to curve this in a way that's going to mold you to see the way I'm thinking for Worlds. And I'm going to start off with, I want Worlds to be a, like, 5 to 20 deck format. I don't want Worlds to be, you play these four decks, or you're donezo. That sucks. If I see Snake Eyes Ash summoned at Worlds... I'm gonna be pissed because Konami you gave it all year and this shit's dry I had to watch it at two YCS's in Vegas and Indy because I didn't give a fuck about Raleigh because you guys pissed me off after that ban list so if I have to tune in and turn on my Twitch to or YouTube to see a Snake Eyes Ash card be dropped I'm gonna turn that shit off and go watch Pokemon or I'll go watch Lord Kana. That's just me being real. I've invested into Lorcana. I got two decks. I got two decks from Pokemon. I've invested in their metagames and researched them. And a lot of players are doing the same thing. So please, for the love of God, Konami, fix your shit. <laughs> but let's start this off. <clears throat> so, now that I've preferenced all that, 
and you guys see where I'm coming from. And we have these dot dot notes in your head, okay? I want to see chaos, and I want to see an open format. Let me give you guys my takes, and I've spent 15 minutes prefacing all this. So if I see a comment that just says, you're an idiot for your list, I'm going to know you just skipped to the end, and I'm going to ban you. And I'm going to be so glad I never to see your ugly mug again. So don't be stupid. Be a human being. Use the little brain cells. And just pay attention. If you don't want to, kick rocks. I, I, I won't miss you. I don't know you to begin with. But if I'm to your liking, and I'm someone you're like, hey, I could get on board with that, let me know. Let me know. Let me know I'm not the only one out there that wants to see this. Because, sorry, but I want the opposite of what we're in right now. This format sucks. I hate it. I, I, I haven't played a single... I told you guys this in my previous videos. The last time I played was the weekend before the April ban list. I haven't. I've gone to my locals a couple of times to go see Brendan, the own, the store owner, the, the, the store owner, and talk to a couple of my teammates. Haven't watched a single live match. Haven't played a single live match, and I'm not going to until they fix this shit, because this is just downright absurd. I work hard for the money I earn, and I spend it on this game. But if you're gonna give me that kind of content for what I'm gonna spend it on, I'm gonna spend it elsewhere, which is what I've been doing with Lorcana and Tokyo. And if they're cool with losing consumers that way, that's the choice they made. So this is their chance to show that, coming up in July, if we see anything. To be completely honest, I think they're going to give OCG their ban list, but I don't think we get one until after Nets. So I don't think we're going to get a list until between the end of Nets and Worlds. A lot of people now are thinking because the OCG gets effective July 1st that we're going to get something effective like July 10th. And I don't buy into that for a second because I think Konami is all about their money and they know that <laughs> hitting Snake Eyes a week before the possibility of playing tier 0.0 .0 Snake Eye Fiendsmith comes out, they're not going to do it. I think they want Snake Eye Fiendsmith to win nets. So that's just my take. But, I'm going to give you guys what could happen, in my point of view, which I would think would be cool. So, um, I think it would be cool if OCG brought back Fenrir. Um, I don't think he's that broken. I think he's a necessary evil in the game. He causes disruption, he causes you to think, and I think you need to do that. Um, would love to see him come back. Um... I'd love to see Kick Kellos come back to one. Would love to see it. And I'm not even a tier player. I hated tier in tier zero. But I'd like to see it. And I'll get over to those thoughts and eventually. Um I, I think this card came back and it's in Masterville, right? And it, like I don't even know I didn't even hear about its existence since it's come back. So Um I think Divine Sword could come back, especially for Worlds, because Assault Day's gone. Like, Divine Sword could come back. Um... God, Dryden can come back, people. I know that it makes end boards insane with another disruption, but at this point, there's no negates. So you can bring this card back. A simple imperm. Uh, um, limited. I think this guy could come back to three, especially if they're gonna keep Fenrir banned. Um, I think these guys could come to two. I'm a very, very big proponent of we could bring these guys back to two in both OCG and TCG, and Kit Killos back to one or two, and be okay as long as we don't have these Shizu cards. Uh, I'm a big proponent of that. Call me stupid, I don't care, but like, I, I think that those guys could come back, at least try it out for a format, shit. If you're making us sit through Snake Eyes, let us have Tear, and see how that goes. I know Tear is far better than Snake Eyes, but like, 
uh, you make a whole bunch of money by printing it, reprinting it. I mean, um, I think that this should just go to zero. Please, God, just put it to zero. Uh, this, uh, I think, two means nothing. Um, I think this guy can go back to three. And I think this could go to two. So, not a lot of changes I'm going to predict in the OCG. I just think that things need to be balanced out. Um, as far as band, I'm not really too familiar with their... I know they're at Rage of the Abyss format, so I don't know what's really the problem because I haven't read that far ahead. I know that we're going to get sharks and water support, things of that nature, but to be honest, I just started researching Whitewoods, and that's a promise I made to myself, which I'll be up front with you guys now about. Um, if we do get a ban list by info, and... I have any interest in playing, I'll probably build a White Woods and experiment with that deck. So be on the lookout for that possibility. If we get another ban list and it's just ass, I'm probably out until next year. So um, just being real. Just being real. So anyway, let us get over to now uh, TCG format. So in the OCG, if we see big changes and what I mean by big changes is Ash is banned and Flameberg is banned um, things of that nature right if we see those things happen I think we're in to understand that the TCG might make a hit directly to Snake Eye I still don't really have faith that they will yet I think they're gonna slap it on the wrist I don't think they're gonna hit it because they still want to push it and I think that we're just going to see a year of Snake Eye, and it sucks. So, what's my counteract to that point? Um, my counteract to that point is we fight evil with another evil. Um, and what I mean by that is uh, we bring a few things off the list. Um, so this would more of be a unbanning list, in my opinion, more than it would be a ban list. Um, which would be pretty cool, you know, it focuses more on what's coming back to the game rather than what's going away. Um, so what I mean by that is these guys, put these dudes to two and give them kick kilos at one. Fight fire with water, let them have a format, I mean you want to spark the enthusiasm of players and bring players out and challenge them you go ahead and say all right we're going to keep snake eye where it's at and you're going to piss off the player base by doing that but what's a way to make the player base go huh well i wonder if i can beat that pretty easy now you give them tier link cards and let them go have fun um i know that could lead to i know and I'm very much of the firm belief where I agree with a lot of the player base that tier limit is far and away two times, three times, four times as strong as Snake Eyes in every way. I agree with that. Tier limit would eat Snake Eyes for breakfast. But if you just give them a little more consistency rather than putting them at full power and let them go against full power Snake Eye, I think that could be pretty fun to watch because that would be a balanced game. Um, be cool to see a fire versus water thing, you know, um, and it's only going to last until Christmas, right? Because you guys, Konami will usually do another list in December and make it valid for January. So let this format in TCG, the last five months of the year, be fire versus water and have fun with it because it's been light versus dark a lot. So change it up a little bit <clears throat> another thing that I think <laughs> should come back and instead of doing it this way I'm gonna talk about like what I created and this is where people are gonna fast forward to the 24 minute mark and they're gonna see this and they're gonna dogpile on me because that's what people do they don't understand how to listen to a point of view they just skim forward um, 
this is what I want to see and I think would be cool because it would open up the format like in crazy um, get rid of the degenerate shit like turn skip you don't need that why did you guys bring this back to 3 you have imperm you have valor you have ghost mortar you have all this negation why the hell does this need to be in the game and why is this sitting at this is such a sacky one of it's just insanely stupid in my opinion um, it doesn't need to exist so let's get back to what we could do to even out the playing field um, I think Fenrir can go to 2 because then you could just play 2 Fenrir and 1 Pressure Planet um, and you're just as even as going through Fenrir but the reason I'm doing that is with the hope that maybe at Worlds the OCG will bring it back to 2 as well and we can see 2 Fenrir being playable at Worlds I'd love to see Fenrir play at Worlds by the best players in the world using Fenrir correctly and strategically I think it would be amazing to see that um, just because a lot of the ways that he's used now is just phony and stupid but seeing Fenrir in a good player's hands being played correctly Fenrir shines and I want to see that so um, this comes back to my argument of if you decide not to hit Snake Eye I challenge you to give players back a little consistency on tier limit and let them have a chance to do it out. It would make some pretty good matches. It'd probably make for some fun watching Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, they wouldn't have a Shizu like Millers and um, Shufflers and all that. They just have tier limit, and they could just square up on each other. Um, I want to give the Pendulum player base some fun. Gosh, please let them have some fun. Just put it to one, dude. Um, try it. Dryden can go to one. Like there's, by the way, the standards right now there's no negates. They can go to one. And my craziest take <laughs> is bring back a res heart. Why? Because I want to see a fun format. How fun would it be to just say, you know what? Rather than getting rid of shit, we're just gonna let them all have to face off against each other. It's the quarter century year, right? Make the quarter century big dogs face off. Let us see a tournament where, holy cow, Kit Kilos, Promethean Princess, and Arise Heart are big headlining monsters. And those are, that would be cool matchups. That'd be fun to watch. How are these great players going to fight their way around these boards? Um, and <laughs> I, I think it would still be fun to put in... To keep Ash at 3 at that point. Keep Ash at 3. Give Cash Tier players a couple of Fenrirs and a Rise Heart and their Cash Tier cards. Let them come over the deck where they can face off against Promethean Princess and Kikolos. And then give Tier Limit players a couple of cards back for their tier, not for Ishizu, and let them have some fun. And then for our players who just want to tribute summon, Give them masterpiece. Let them have some fun. You got XYZ, you got Link, you got Synchro, you got fucking um, Fusion, and then you got Tribute Summoning. That'd be the coolest Worlds Tournament format ever. You're gonna see all the mechanics come out to play. And then, if you want to spice it up, in my opinion, you bring back one of Savage or Baron to one. Just one of them. Just because the threat will always be looming there. I think it would make for a hype-ass tourney, in my opinion. I think it would make the world's greatest players really challenge themselves in, first of all, in my opinion, what's the strongest deck? Second of all, how can I form this deck to go against all these beasts? Like, let's say you have Christian Urena. And he's at Worlds. And he's like, you know what, damn it. I've done amazing with Snake Eye. I know this deck. I'm going at it. And then he finds out that Arise Heart and Kick Hose are coming back. And he decides, well, I'm going to stick with Snake Eye. Because I know it. 
cool. All right, Christian Urena. You're balls deep in Snake Eyes, and you're damn well one of the best players I've seen in recent years. How the fuck are you going to maneuver your way around that? How the fuck are you going to go up against a Rise Heart and kick Kikilos? Oh, by the way, somebody could drop a Master Plan on you. Or, I mean, a Masterpiece. Oh, by the way, Baron's at one. Like, it would be so much better, in my opinion, than him having to go, Alright, I just gotta hold on to Fainsmith and Snake Eye. That's all I gotta prepare to face off. Well, now that motherfucker's gonna sit there and be like, Kick Hellos, Arise Heart, Masterpiece, Baron, Ash. Holy crap, there's so much to prepare for. And that would make it one of the funnest tournaments. You'd, you're bringing all the best players in the world together. Make them have to go against the best shit that you've made in the past few years. Rather than just one of the best shits. No, make them go against all of it. Make them have to choose. You might get Joshua Schmidt that goes, Damn, well, I'm going to bring my runic stun with a... I'm going to include a masterpiece. Well, shit, now what, worlds? What are you going to do against that? Like, it would just be fun, in my opinion, to see that. So, to bring this all around, um, I know I titled this thumbnail with what does this mean for the TCG? Um, as far as an OCG ban list in uh, six or five days. Uh, I think it means nothing. I think that for the TCG, um, my wholehearted honest opinion, I think the OCG is going to get a list because they're going to play with the OCG's modifications and prepare for worlds that way. And I think they're just going to say, piss off TCG, we don't care about you. Um, so I think OCG will get their ban list for July 1st. And I think TCG, like I said, may see a ban list between Nats and Worlds, maybe. Um, because after Nats, they're not going to give a fuck about us until Christmas. So we may be in for Snake Eye, Fiendsmith, Tier Zero until Christmas. So as somebody who has dived more into the aspect of Yu-Gi-Oh of what's going on at a bird's eye view rather than what's going on in my locals. I just want you to all be prepared for that. Um, Konami does not care about the state of the game for the TCG. They don't. What matters is the OCG and that the TCG just keeps on funding it. That's all that matters. So as long as we're stupid enough to buy cards, they can just keep the OCG happy and say, oh, our numbers are great, look at how happy our fan base is and just show them. We're the ones funding it, but they're the happy faces they show on TV. So, um, we're the fools in the TCG. That's just, that, that's just me being plain with you. And if that offends you, if that makes you feel stupid, sorry, I came to that realization. That's why, I don't know if you guys have seen on my channel, I'm doing different games right now, as far as, like, content. Um, but I wanted to give you my update on how I see, and this is just coming from a guy that's worked in the corporate world for 23 years, and the way I see it. Um, as a person in the company, uh, not in Konami's company, but in a company, um, we do that. We show the happy side of the people that we make happy. And then our big investors, who pay us lots of money at my company, they just shut up and pass. And we don't care about them. We care about making sure that the, the general public sees the happy people. And that's what Konami's doing. Oh, look at our happy player base, and they show the OCG folks. But they don't show the rest of the world, like Europe, who they've cut off. And who I think they'll soon cut off, which is America. Um, they don't show us. They don't even let us go to Worlds. You can't go watch Worlds. They don't want you there. If it was in Japan, by all means, it's open to the public. But if it's in America, you're not welcomed. So, just know that. Um, which has made it a lot easier for me in my decision making as far as what I'm using my funds to do with on paper right now. 
And what I mean by that is, like, what am I spending my money on? Um, it's not Yugi. Yeah, at all. I've actually sold a lot of money. I probably have, like... As of April, I've probably sold off a good... 80-85% of my collection. So, that's just me being honest with you. Um... I did have like staples in four different rarities and everything like that, like sets of them, and I'm down to just uh, one. So um, to give you that kind of perspective, like I do have multiple decks in different card games, and I'm having fun with those card games, and I'm having fun being part of a good, healthy, open community. Um, but Yugi just isn't it right now. and. I don't know what they gotta do. I was talking to a buddy of mine the other day on the phone and I said, what if they just introduce a master rule? Um, how do they fix their shit? I've heard ideas of what if they just ban all the hand traps and start from scratch with new hand traps? What if they ban all the board breakers? What if they ban traps? <laughs> what if they ban... Like, I've heard so many outlandish like takes recently. And it's common amongst the player base. Everybody is just throwing shit on a wall and seeing what sticks. Um, what's sad and disgusting in what the player base has adapted from Konami is just a toxicity and telling everybody they're stupid. You can see it on the, Z the Zodiac page on Facebook. Every bandless take I've seen is followed up with 20 people telling that person they're an idiot. So, there's just no use. Other card games, people give their takes and people have rational conversations. It's cool to watch. So, um, my take is we will see an OCG ban list, the 23rd, and we will see a TCG ban list between, <laughs> in my personal opinion, between August 1st and end of December. Um, And that's just being honest. I just, I think we're thrown to the wayside. So, I think they're going to guarantee an OCG player wins Worlds this year. Because, if you guys can't tell, Konami is solely fixated on OCG events. And, um, they're big 8,000 man YCS. They're huge, like, tournament announcements and everything like that. Like, we just don't get that attention at DCG. So, please open your eyes to that. Please be real with yourself on that. Because those are blatant signs of a company that's backing out. And what I mean by that is, like, Konami may just completely abandon Europe. And that may just be the start of what they're trying to do. Um, there are a ton of officially just pure japan based card games and they could be doing that with Yu-Gi-Oh. so i hate to hurt feelings but it's just as somebody that lives in a corporate world for the most of my career I, i've seen this kind of behavior so and i've been a part of those meetings so i just want you guys to be completely open up to it and understand it um but what I think as far as a ban list, uh, I don't have any hope for one coming for the ZHG. Because I don't think there's a ban list they can create that fixes the game. I think that they've made a ton of broken cards. And unless there's like a good 100 or 200 card ban list, where a lot of things just go. Um, sorry, yeah, guys, this game is just not... It reminds me a lot of Dragon Ball Super, where everything just became busted. I don't know if you guys remember that card game, but it started out really fun, interactive, cool, yada yada yada. You get to play Gohan, you get to play Vegito, you get to do all that. And then everything just became broken. Every single deck was just insane. And that's what Yu-Gi-Oh! is kind of becoming. You play your really cool... 15 card engine 
and then you put in 15 to 20 non-engine that are just insane. And it's whoever outsmarts who with that non-engine. So everything just becomes nuts. Like, and it just doesn't sound appealing. <laughs> so, um, let me know your guys' thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. I've been here for 40 minutes just rambling. Sorry. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on... I don't want you guys to get your hopes up. I don't want people to be sitting here going, Oh, OCG is going to ban this. We're in line next in the next couple of days. Nah. Sorry, guys. Like, I just think in my person, and I could be, I hope I'm wrong. I hope to God that OCG goes, Yeah, ban this happens. And then 10 days later, they say, Hey, effective five days before Nats, this ban this for the TCG. I hope they do that so that everybody can shit on me. I want that to happen. I will be, I will smile happily on all of your comments and say I'm glad I'm wrong. But I don't think I'm wrong here. I I think that we're not even an afterburner thought to Konami right now. I think it's all fixated on how do we make OCG fun? How do we prime the OCG to win worlds? Hate to say that, but it's true. So anyway guys, be kind, be respectful to each other. And I shall see you guys in the next one. Peace.